Here's the thing, cold snap damage and AoE is pretty bad. So this video, this build is not a suggestion for you to play it. And it's actually not completely finished, I'm like level 80. I wanted to give this build another day but we just got information about the upcoming revamped skills which are actually coming in the next expansion. So this kind of completely killed my interest in playing cold snap right now because the possible revamped cold snap sounds way more interesting. So I'm just gonna quickly talk about the build, not expecting anyone to follow it, so it will be brief. However, I will include path of building import code in the video description, along with timestamps of course. So it is known that cold snap is pretty bad, so why am I doing this build? Well, <laughs> because cold snap has very very cool MTX. I bought that MTX when it was on sale, so I would be forced to play cold snap. Now, the build doesn't feel that bad, especially mapping feels kind of smooth, but once you meet some tougher enemies, the lack of damage is really noticeable. And for the most part I was using Tabla, so it's a 6 link and my damage was still lower than pseudo 5 link vortex. Which by the way also has a very cool MTX and can burn your eyes. Sometimes you feel like you are doing enough damage and other times it just doesn't do and you sort of need like a combo to do more damage. I am now using either lighting damage to my cold snap setup so I can shock enemies, then frost bomb lowers their cold resistance and then either another cold snap or vortex. If the tougher enemy is still standing, repeat, but for bosses you're gonna have to repeat a lot. And uh, well this is a crit build but I'm not I'm not maintaining my power charges reliably so I'm not, not trying to use like shimmeron vans or uh, void batteries or even dual wield them. I thought it would be more reliable but with uh, Saboteur's chain reaction you can't reliably generate power charges because it requires enemies to trigger a trap and once the enemy steps on one trap all the traps explode and that only counts as one trap so I don't know traps just are not in a very good state still. I mean we can be good with better skills of course. It just feels kind of awkward. You get chain reaction to trigger all the traps but then the passives and, and the even tinker skin just doesn't work with chain reaction. Hopefully it's gonna be better in the future. By the way I did maps up to like tier 9. Uh, dealing with bosses wasn't pleasant. But mapping sort of is okay-ish. And like I said I'm like level 80 or something. One thing that I do love about Saboteur is the Pyromaniac which gives a lot of regen. Which by the way do not require for traps to be triggered by an enemy. It just requires for traps to be triggered. And I wish that uh, Tinker Skin and other passives uh, that, uh, that requires uh, traps to trigger work the same way. But oh well. Items. I'm currently using Lorby but it's not required. I just I just had it and I wanted to experiment with it. Of course Tinker Skin, everyone is gonna say Tinker Skin, Tinker Skin. I personally don't think that Tinker Skin is very good right now. What I would prefer is Shaper's Armor with plus 1 to active skill gems and spells have X% percent critical strike chance, which is global. And I tried to get it, tried to craft it, rip all my currency, didn't get it, so I'm just using Lore Weave. Next, Phenomus Weave Gloves and I do love Aspect of the Spider. I think with just one item it does give a lot. Enemies take up to 15% increased damage which is like more damage multiplier, let's not get technical. Slows enemies down and makes enemies fluffy. For the boots I'm still using Deer Stalker because I wanted a fed 5 link setup. Remember I already have gloves. As for the helmet I bought this pretty decent helmet with less duration support which is my frost bomb setup. And while leveling I was using sunblast until I got chain reaction which was only in merciless lab. Oh and uh, right I do have pretty decent belt that I managed to craft myself. But it was an accident I wasn't planning on using a belt for the trapper. I was actually trying to craft a belt for something else but oh well. This actually doesn't do all that much in fact. If I remember this 15% cooldown reduction reduces my trap cooldown from 2.2 seconds to 2 seconds. So it's not a big deal. You don't need it. Just use Stygian belt or something. <laughs> and why am I talking like I'm expecting someone to follow this build anyway. The rest of the items are meh whatever. Just trying to get crit, crit multiplier and life. And resistances. Shimmer on one by the way without getting more power charges doesn't even give more damage. But once you get plus 2 more charges which is only 4 points then you definitely get more damage. But like I said I don't like how power charge generation works on this build so I'm, I'm not gonna bother with that. Now skills and links quickly. 
Cold Snap, Trap, Cluster Traps, Increase Critical Strikes because you really need that critical strikes and then I'm using other lighting in Lore Weave. But on a proper 6 link setup just probably would use other cold damage and cold penetration. Vortex inside my boots, linked with Cluster Trap, Concentrated Effect and Trap and Mind Damage. Remember, Control Destruction and Elemental Focus is bad because crits and you want to chill and freeze. Well, could use like added cold or cold penetration but I was actually swapping sometimes cluster traps for cold penetration. However added cold damage or cold penetration does not improve the cold damage over time that is left uh, from the vortex. Next frost bomb inside the helmet linked with trap, cluster trap and well cold to fire. It should be cold penetration or added cold damage. I was simply planning something else with that. For the auras, clarity of course. I am using Qualty Herald of Ice because Qualty does increase cold damage globally. I mean, it does increase global cold damage. So it also affects cold damage over time from Vortex. But you will not trigger extra explosions from Herald of Ice because it requires you to uh, freeze enemies. And traps are not considered as you. I mean, just imagine the identity crisis if traps could be you. Then you would be traps? Are you a trap? I don't think so, but maybe I am, hmm. Passive 3, this, not finished. As a saboteur first I took perfect crime, then pyromaniac and only then chain reaction. Now from the uber lab there are only two choices. If I had better damage I would take born in the shadows for the blind mechanics, which is very strong. But if I had some kind of other mitigations I would probably take explosive experts for more damage and AoE and penetration. And well that's about all really. Now I'll put a link in the skill description about uh, skill revamps part 1 which is coming in 3.3 release but it's pretty generic it doesn't give any like exact information just yet and I'm pretty excited with that however I do share some concerns with um, other people. Not always reward skills end up being better like look at the uh, lighting tendrils I guess. It was converted into the channeling into proper channeling skill and the damage could be awk but just the clear speed and AoE is pretty terrible. So I do hope that GG is gonna do a better job at revamping old skills when when well before. And that's about all. Uh, well lastly off topic. I don't know why YouTube is so <laughs> detached from their own platform and so illogical but you may not be receiving the notifications about the new videos may not be appearing in the subscription feed simply because youtube changed their algorithm and just uh, well for them it's logical that you shouldn't be getting all the no notifications about the new videos that you are subscribed to so if you don't want to miss a video ring that bell and i'm not just talking about myself i'm talking about every channel that you really want to see all the videos or follow me on twitter because uh, it always appears on twitter <sighs> anyway thank you for watching and see you soon with a new build